Joined by assistant coach John Stroll. Coach, welcome to Happy Valley. How have things gone so far? Well, I'll tell you what, it's, uh, I know why it's happy. Uh, you know, this is a, uh, it's a, it's an unbelievable place. You know, it really is. Um, uh, the, the facilities are second to none, you know, at least in my travels. And, uh, you know, the people have been very welcoming. Um, the food is awesome. And, uh, you know, it's a dream come true for a guy that's been a, basically a coach all my life, you know, all my adult life. Uh, you know, I, I can't imagine a better setting, a better, a better place to apply my craft than, than Penn State. When Coach O'Brien called you, what went through your mind? I, I thought he was fooling. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was fooling. Uh, you know, uh, he is a, uh, he's a, a, a remarkable person. Um, you know, when we first met, uh, you know, he likes to give off that, uh, you know, that kind of a gruff, uh, edgy thing, but he's a, he's a thinker. He's, he's, you know, very, very bright man. And, uh, you know, you could see that right away. And he's a hard, hard worker. Uh, you know, it was wonderful uh, working with him previously. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we stayed in touch uh, through the, the past five years. I guess it's five years. And I watched his, uh, you know, his pro career take off and uh, you know <clears throat> after I sat there and thought about it for a while I said well sure why why not <laughs> you know what well, you know absolutely he's a he's a viable candidate for probably a lot of jobs and uh, when this thing came into uh, fruition I was uh, yeah I said absolutely count me in why do you think he's the right guy to lead the Penn State football program uh, you know, I don't, it's just like asking me what, what's your favorite pizza. I, you know, I haven't had every pizza. I don't know. He, uh, whether he's the right guy, he's a right guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, there might be other guys out there. I, you know, I can't tell you, but in my, in my experience, he's the right guy. What's the last week been like for you personally? Um, you know, very interesting. Um, you know, uh, trying to get to know the place. You think, you know, you grow up in New Jersey and you think you know it. Uh, you know, and basically when you get here, it's, it's astounding. Uh, you know, the, obviously the facilities are, I keep saying facilities, but the facilities are fantastic. Uh, but the, the entire organization, and when, I, when you say organization, I'm talking about the athletic, from the athletic department down. I haven't, haven't spent enough time with the uh, academic folks, but uh, the academic people in, in this building, uh, very thorough. You know, uh, and it's always exciting to be with the best and the brightest, and I think that's what we have here. Before you came here, what was what were your thoughts on the Penn State football program, the traditions, the success, and whatnot? Well, you know, uh, the style, you know, the, the white pants, no, you know, the plain jerseys, the plain helmets, no names on the back, the black shoes. I mean, that's legendary. Uh, I'm Italian, and that ought to say a lot. Um, you know. It was always the top, top of the heap, you know. Uh, you know, I remember when when Penn State was part of the East Indies, and it was just a different. It, was a, it had a, a mystique, you know. It, had, it has a national mystique to it, and uh, it's. I have to say, it's lived up to all of that. You know. You've been in coaching more than 30 years. Talk about your journey to Penn State. Well, uh, you know, um, it's kind of interesting. I've. I've uh, been in a, a bunch of different venues, I, you know, Duke and uh, Cornell, uh, you know, very academic settings. I've been in state schools. Uh, Ball State is a, is a, actually, it's a very pretty school, um, you know, very well kept. Uh, it's got a great reputation for, for a lot of different things, not the least of which is exercise physiology. Um, you know, it's a, it's a good sized school. But I think, I just think, you know, this place is, it's a cut above everywhere, you know. Uh, coached at Notre, I, I coached against Notre Dame. I, I don't see where that has any anything over us, you know, except for you know me being a Catholic and all. And I kind of like that, but uh, you know, I I don't I can't. It, it, there's nothing to compare it to, really, in my experience. It's uh, it's it's incomparable. You touched on a number of these things, but what were your first impressions when you got on campus for the first time of the campus itself, the people, the stadium, and whatnot? Well, it's you know it's got a uh, it's kind of got an Ivy League feel to it. Um, 
you know, the town, I guess. I, and the campus is, is, is well appointed. Um, you know, the, the, uh, the thing that I like the best, to be honest with you, is the training table. But, uh, you know, the food, the quality of it, and, and what have you. Um, you know, having a chance to get inside the stadium, you know, you know why they call it the Big Ten. Um, you know, um, it's, you know, it's, it's just got that feel to it. It's, a, it's almost like a professional feel. It's like, this is what we do, and we're, and we're good at it, and we know it. You know, no, there are no apologies. You know, no excuses. This is what we do. We're going to do it first class. And first class, I guess, is a good way to, to put it. For someone who doesn't know you, how would you describe your coaching style? Coaching style, okay. I think it's. I think I. Uh, someone asked me that over the weekend. Okay, I'm going to just give you some some phrases that I use all the time. Okay, teachers teach ideas. Coaches teach habits. Okay, I want to always delineate that. You and I are, are obviously discussing ideas. Uh, when we're in a meeting with players, we're, we're discussing concepts, ideas. We use words that imply actions, et cetera. We're teaching. When we go out on the field, we're trying to use those words to, um, to, to uh, start actions, initiate actions. Okay, we're, Teachers teach ideas, coaches teach habits. Those actions have to become habitual. You can't think about them. So I think... Uh, you know, the old Roman saying, you know, uh, uh, repetition is the mother of all learning. I think you would add me to that list. I'm, I'd have to agree with that. Uh, like, I like to rep things. Um, I like concept learning. I like this is like this, except, you know, this play is exactly like this play, except for this one difference. And that's the way we, we've approached it over the years, you know. So those two things, drilling and conceptual learning. Have you had an opportunity to meet the current Penn State players that you'll be coaching? I've met quite a few of them. Um, you know, uh, again, the best and the brightest. You know, they're all bright-eyed. Uh, uh, you know, uh, they, they look like what you'd expect them to look like. They act a certain way. They're, uh, they're pleasant. They're well-spoken. They're apparently hardworking. I haven't really seen them do other, uh, anything really. You know, we're not allowed to go in the weight room, that sort of thing. But... Uh, uh, and they're, they're, um, you know, they're exceptional. The New England Patriots obviously key in on the tight end position on, in Coach O'Brien's offense. What do you see as a Penn State tight end in the future? Oh well, hopefully, uh, you know, a tight end is a guy that can that can block like a tackle and run routes and catch. Um, and hopefully, uh, yeah, you know, if looks are uh, are what they are. Uh, we've got several of those guys. We've got guys that are threats to catch the football, and and can add to the uh, you know to the blocking scheme. Uh, it's obvious that uh, right now the uh, you know the two tight ends are getting a lot of press with the Patriots, and hopefully hopefully that would be a, a similar thing because I coach them. But if you if you look at at what the what the Patriots seem to do, they seem to find a guy that can do something, and they let him do it. And I, and I think that, uh, you know, Coach O'Brien has outlined that as his approach to things. You know, you have a talent to do something. I have a talent to do something. Why don't we do it? Let's let you do that. Let's let, let's let the blockers block, the catchers catch, et cetera, and so on. If someone's good at something, let's feature that. And I think that's, uh, I, I'd have to say that would characterize the, uh, the Patriots. You know, the, I, was, I was as surprised as anyone when... Uh, when the tight end lined up as a tailback, and then when he went and took off, what was it, a 27-yard mm -hmm. run? I was like, there you go. <laughs> they knew the guy could run, and they gave him the ball. Yeah. What's your schedule going to be like from now up to signing day and then on into spring practice? Well, we're, uh, you know, uh, college football, you're, uh, you're seven days a week, and you're, you know, there's no, you know, there's a general, like, you have to be at these points. It's sort of like checkpoints, but... You know, basically, you're on call. It's very similar to a, to a physician. Uh, you know, you have to be ready to, to go right away. This has to be a sense of urgency. So, uh, having coached all these years, you know, we're always on call. Uh, there's certainly we get our time off, uh, but whatever needs to be done, you know, 
it, it it's, has to be done, and we do it. What has the reception been like from the Penn State community since you've been hired? Well, everyone I've met, uh, it was funny, I, I did a clinic yesterday in New Jersey, and uh, our good friend George DeLeon, uh, who's a legendary uh, football coach in his own right, got up and uh, he sort of gave me a shout out, and um, the whole place erupted, you know, in applause. Now, I know, uh, I knew a lot of those guys, but, uh, you know, I, I got I feel pretty good about it. I feel pretty good about the whole thing. Uh, I've had people come up to me in restaurants uh, and say, you're John Stroh, and I'm like, oh, you know, yes, I am, as a matter of fact, you know. And uh, so it's, it's, it's exciting. Uh, you know, it's, it's what I expected, and, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty much going right along the course. Finally, Coach, what does it mean to you personally to be an assistant coach at Penn State? Well, number one, uh, you know, the thing that, that I hold in highest regard is, is the trust that, that Coach O'Brien has shown in me. Um, I think that it's a great honor. The way I feel about him, it's a great honor that he feels good enough about me to have offered me a job. Um, the other, uh, you know, besides that, it's good to be with guys that I know, uh, people from the past, you know, Ted Roof, uh, Charles London, uh, you know, Coach Ganter, Fran Ganter was just walking by there. I've, I've known him for years. Uh, so there's some familiarity to it. And then, of course, you know, Penn State, I mean, y you, can, you can probably go to, you know, just about any place, you know, uh, in the two or three continents. I'm, I'm sure they know where Penn State is in England. You know, uh, the, the fact that I'm here and I have a chance to represent this incredible university, take football out of it. Mm -hmm. just, just think about the, the alums and the people that they've produced, the, the various professionals, the, just the, the student body. To be able to say that I'm part of that is a, it's a lifelong ambition and a dream come true. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck. Well, thanks. Thanks a lot.